Welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. Our wonderful guest today, Dr. Mordechai Kadar, is joining us all the way from Israel. Uh, Moti is a 25-year experience IDF intelligence officer. He went on to a career as a professor at Bar Ilan University, where he still lectures. He writes books. He appears on newscasts all over the world as a specialist in Middle East politics, especially relating to Iran, Syria, Lebanon, and terrorism. Welcome, Dr. Kadar. We're going to do today in English, so yours truly and the rest of our guests understand what you're going to say. Thank you so much for giving me the pulpit. It's so great to have you here. So let's kick it off with the question that everybody wants to know, which is, what is the reason the BB plan for Middle East peace is not acceptable in the eyes of the Middle Eastern governments? As much as I think uh, 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 Netanyahu and Jared Kushner sat together and tailored this plan. And, uh, uh, but unfortunately, Netanyahu, with all his uh, abilities, he doesn't speak Arabic. He, I don't know how much he is aware of the culture of the Middle East. I don't know how much he is an ability to speak to Arab leaders in their language or in their concepts. And um, of course, he is experienced, but yet he lacks these skills of how to understand the neighbors. And it is very hard, believe me. Barry, it's not enough if you spend a month or even a year. You have to study their culture deeply. You have to, to understand Islam. You have to understand the tribalism, how it works, because this is a social structure. You have to understand the all kinds of concepts which are as far as could be from American uh, uh, mindset. So, uh, unfortunately, this is the Middle East. What can what can I do? This is the the, the this is the, the, the what the area is, and uh, this is why this deal of the century could be viewed as very positive thing to Israelis or Americans or many others, while in the Middle East, people look at it as something which is um, almost totally unacceptable. So you told me in the past that you have a plan for the Middle East. Tell us what is the Moti plan. I came out with another solution uh, already years ago, uh, which is the Emirate solution. The eight uh, Palestinian Emirates solution. Uh, it is based on the fact that in the Middle East, there are roughly two kinds of states. One kind is the failing states. I mean, Iraq and Syria and Lebanon and Sudan and Yemen and Libya, Algeria. And on the other side, you can find the successful states, which are the nine Emirates in the Gulf, Kuwait, Qatar, and the seven Emirates, which are united in the United Arab Emirates, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Ras al Khaima, Fujairah, and so forth. Altogether, nine countries, peaceful, successful, uh, heaven on earth. So many people think that these nine states are successful because of their oil. Is that really the case? It's wrong. Dubai has no oil and no gas, while Iraq has a lot of oil. Libya is even more oil. And Iraq and Libya are hell on earth with oil, while Dubai, without oil, is a heaven on earth. So evidently, it's not the oil. Because if it was the oil, Dubai would be a, 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 a hell, and Iraq and Libya would be a heaven. But the situation is totally different. OK, so it's not the oil. What's the reason for their success? The fact that each and every one of them is one single tribe, one single clan. Al Sabah in Kuwait, Al, Al Thani, this is the name of the, of the, of the clan. Al Thani in Qatar, Al Nihyan in, in uh, Abu Dhabi and so forth. While Iraq and Syria and all the other failures are conglomerates of many clans, Many ethnic groups like Kurds and Arabs and Turkmen and Berbers in North Africa, 
religious groups, Muslims, Christians, Yazidis, Alawis, Druze, Sabais, Mandais, Shubaks, and all kinds of others. Iraq is, only Iraq has 10 religions in it. 10 religions. And another problem is the sects, Sunnah and Shia and Salafis and Sufis and many others, many, many, many more. The state, Iraq, failed in exchanging the loyalties, the different loyalties of the people. People do not define themselves as Iraqi. Maybe abroad, but in Iraq, no. Because in Iraq, either you are one of this tribe, or you are Shi'i, or Sunni, or Kurd, or Arab, or Turkmen, or another tribe, or another sect. Okay? And they fight each other because of rivalries which they carry already for hundreds of years. And this is why these countries are failure. So with your understanding of the tribalism of the Middle East and the plethora of competing religious beliefs, with that background, how do the Palestinians come to the peace table? If we have to solve the, the Palestinian problem, which kind would, would you like to, to create? A successful state or a failure state? Of course, you would like to have a success. Means to establish states according to the clans, as it is in the Gulf Emirates. And every city in Judea and Samaria, every Arab city in Judea and Samaria, where the so-called West Bank, is very clannish. If you tell me the name of somebody, I'll tell you where he lives, because they don't move from place to place. Because the homeland is the clan and the city, not the whole land, according to their concepts. And this is the difference in culture. And this is why people have to understand it. This is why what I want to establish is Emirates, one in the Arab part of Hebron, for the clans of Hebron. Jabri, Kawasme, Nache, Tamimi, Abu Snena, these are the clans of Hebron. And they have a tribal court which solves every problem between them. Another Emirate in Jericho for the Arikat clan. Another one in Ramallah for the Barghuti and the Abu Ain and Tawil clans. Another one in Nablus for the Masri, Tukan, and Shaka'a clans. Another one in Tulkarim for the Karmis, and so forth in Kalkilia and Jenin as well. While Israel should remain forever in the rural areas and suggest to the citizens to take Israeli citizenship. If they take good, if they don't take it, it's even better. But um, this is the solution, which will set free some 90% of the population, those who dwell in the cities, and Israel will keep the rural areas with more or less 10 or 12 or 13 percent of the population, depends on the borders of the Emirates. Every Emirate will, be, will have a government, will have its own system without interfering in each other's problems. Well, we'll see in the coming months whether the Moti Kadar plan is the one that is picked over the Donald Trump plan or the Bibi Netanyahu plan. A very special thank you to our guests, uh, Moti Kadar, all the way from Israel. For those of you who want to learn more about him, please go to his YouTube site. There are hundreds of videos there you can learn uh, about all of his plans for all of the countries in the Middle East. And in the meantime, for those of you that haven't subscribed yet, please take out your cell phone, type the word truth, T-R-U-T-H, and send it to 888. 202 push send you'll be automatically subscribed you'll get all of our shows and information on your cell phone absolutely free you don't have to do anything but look down into the palm of your hand for atp report i'm barry newsbaum